uh, the arrival of the ubiquitous digital dive computer has rendered the dive watch completely antiquated and essentially little more than male jewelry, aside from just being able to tell the time. And I thought it'd be interesting today to take a look at how that happened, and how you are supposed to actually use a dive watch, and why a dive computer is such a better tool for the job. A person who doesn't dive could certainly be forgiven for making the assumption that the thing that is overall regulating your dive planning is the air that you're carrying on your back. You're not wrong. If you run out of air, your dive is over one way or another, so you know, make sure it happens up at the surface. However, there's a second factor, a much more insidious factor, that you really need to pay attention to, and that is nitrogen absorption. The thing is, there is no way to tell by looking at someone how much additional nitrogen they may have absorbed into their body, and if you're the diver yourself, you can't tell it by feel. There's no way to know how much nitrogen has built up in my body. 